Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to export a BIM model for the pipe networks in your InfraWizard project. The model we're going to export will assemble the pipes, fittings, and structures of the networks as 3D objects. We'll also migrate this model to Autodesk Navisworks with all associated data of the network elements like pipe materials, sizes, and invert levels. Let's go ahead and see how we can do this. I've got two networks in this project. One of them is a gravity network called SW, which consists of pipes and manholes. And the other one is a water distribution network called WW, and it includes pipes and fittings. The manholes in the gravity network were created by assigning the type simple structure to the nodes and defining the cross-section of the structure. You can also notice that this network contains some backdrop connections at manholes. InfraWizard has identified these connections as backdrops based on the backdrop settings we provided in the network properties here. You may watch part 10 of this tutorial for more information about backdrop analysis. The water network, PW, is a simple pressure network that includes pipes and fittings. The fittings were created in the network by assigning the type simple fitting to some of the nodes. When you define a node as a simple fitting, InfraWizard automatically assigns the suitable fitting or set of fittings to this node according to the number of pipes connected to it, their diameters, and the angles between them. For example, at this node, I have two pipes of 200 mm diameter and a third one of 150 mm diameter. InfraWizard has accordingly assigned this node a T200 by 200 and a reducer 200 by 150. We'll see how this configuration looks in a minute when we export our BIM model. If we explore other nodes in the network, you'll see that some of them were assigned a single fitting like a bend or an end cap, and some have got two or more fittings. InfraWizard is theoretically able to assign fittings to any node that has one, two, or three pipes connected to it to suit any combination of pipe diameters and angles between pipes. Let's go ahead and export our BIM model. I'll click the command Export BIM, then select the elements to be exported. I can select to export whole networks or only a group of elements by selecting them on screen. In our example, I'm going to export the whole networks SW and WW. Next, there's an option to export data files. This is important if you want to create a Navisworks model that contains all data of pipes and structures, just like what we're going to do right away. I'll check both boxes, then click the Browse button to define the file path. I'll just use the file name suggested by InfraWizard. Finally, there's a couple of options to check. This option asks InfraWizard to model the backdrop connections at manholes in gravity networks. If you leave it unchecked, InfraWizard will ignore backdrops and they'll not appear in the model. The other option will make InfraWizard draw pipe center lines in the exported model. The pipe center lines will be modeled as 3D polylines. This is specifically useful if you want to use these polylines to start a pipe network model in Civil 3D or another platform. I'll then click OK to proceed. This model is an AutoCAD drawing in which all pipes, fittings, and structures are modeled as 3D solid objects. You can notice that InfraWizard has added backdrop connections at manholes according to the backdrop type defined in the original project which can be vertical or ramped. Each of the network manholes will appear as one solid entity of a cylinder or a cuboid shape. They don't have more details because these are simple structures. In future releases of InfraWizard, you'll be able to add more details to the network structures using a more advanced node type you can see that fittings were also added at nodes. For example, this is the node which was assigned a fitting set containing a T and a reducer is modeled here with three solid entities, one for the T, another for the reducer, and third solid for a short connector between them. If I erase one of the pipes, you'll be able to see the 3D polyline entities of pipe center lines. It's good to know that center line entities are created on different layers according to the corresponding pipe size. In addition to this drawing containing 3D objects, we got two text files exported with the model. These are the files containing the properties of all network elements. 
If I open either file, we'll find that InfraWizard has exported all possible data fields related to the elements. Here you'll notice that each object in the exported 3D model is associated with one record in the text file. For example, the node that included two fittings and one connector is broken down here into three records, where each record is related to a single 3D solid object in the CAD drawing. In this way, when we migrate the model to Navisworks, each single entity will carry its own set of properties. Let me show you how we can do this. First, I'll export all entities in this drawing to an NWC file. This is simply done with the command NWC out. If you get an error saying that the command NWC out is unknown, you need to install the NWC export utility. It's a free tool provided by Autodesk, and you can find the download link of it in the description of this video. I'll then open the two text files containing network data in Microsoft Excel and save them in XLS format after doing some tweaks. I'll open the pipes text file first, select the option delimited, and check My Data Has Headers. Click Next. I'll leave the Option tab checked because the text files exported from InfraWizard are tab delimited text files. Click Next. It is important to define the column data format for the first column as text. This is because the first column contains the entity handles of AutoCAD solid entities we exported, which are sometimes numeric values and can be modified by Excel if they're interpreted as numbers. There's no need to define the data format for the remaining columns, so I'll just click Finish. I'll then rename the only sheet we have to Sheet 1. And we'll finally save the file as an XLS document. I'll repeat the same steps with the Nodes data file until I have it in XLS format as well. We're now ready to combine the exported model and data files into a Navisworks project. I'll open a new project and append NWC files we exported from AutoCAD. You can see the objects of the pipe networks as 3D solids, just how we had them in AutoCAD, but we still need to append data to them. To do this, we'll use the data tools to connect the Excel spreadsheets we prepared to this project. I'll browse to the InfraWizard Projects folder located in My Documents folder. Here we'll find a folder called Data Links to Navisworks, which contains standard XML files for data links of pipes and nodes. There are two files to be used with metric units projects and other two for imperial units projects. Since my project units are metric, I'll select these two files and click Open. I'll check the two links called INW Node Data and INW Pipe Data. I need then to edit each of these two links to make it point to the related XLS file. I'll select Node Data Link, click Edit, Setup, make sure to select Excel, then click Select Workbook. I'll then browse to the location of the XLS file and select it. Click OK, OK, OK. I'll then do the same thing to link the pipes data file. I'll finally click OK here to have all changes applied. Now if I select any pipe in the project and view its properties, you'll see a new tab called INW Pipe Data. This tab contains all properties of this pipe, which are directly read from the XLS file. Similarly, if we select a structure or a fitting, you can see their properties in the tab called INW Node Data. Now we have the data of pipes and nodes linked to the network elements in this project. However, after we save this project, it will remain pointing to the external XLS files as the data source. If we want to embed the data into the Navisworks project itself, we can do this by publishing an NWD file and embedding data in it. I'll click Output, NWD, fill in whatever information I want here, 
and make sure to select the option Embed Database Properties. I'll then specify a file name and click Save. Now if I open this file, you'll see that it contains the same data we had previously linked. But this time, it is completely embedded in the file and not depending on external data sources. I hope you found this session useful. It may take you around 15 minutes to prepare your first NWD file for an InfraWizard project, but once you're familiar with the process, it will then take a few minutes only. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.